CNN, the most trusted name in news. See that graphic? More than a million babies waiting adoption in China today. A California family is now bigger by one tonight, but welcoming little Abby Kramer in the world was anything but simple. Her new mom and dad had to contend with international red tape, traveling thousands of miles to meet the new addition, and if that weren't enough, they also had to cope with the SARS crisis going on in China. Their story is remarkable. Telma Gutierrez tells the story now of the Kramers meeting Kramer. That just goes in the carry-on. The Kramers are taking here. a trip. <laughs> the trip of a lifetime. I have passports and everything ready to pack. Mark and Denise are going to China to pick up a baby girl. Her name is Quinn Quinn. Her new parents will call her Abby. To me, it looks like my child is my child, so I, I can't wait to, to have her. After waiting nearly a year, things get a little complicated for the Kramers. SARS wreaks havoc in China, and foreign adoptions are put on hold. The Kramers are among the lucky ones. Their visas are approved. Do you have masks? Yes, actually, we did bring some masks. Still, they have concerns. They're heading to Guangzhou. Well, we understand that that's really where the SARS epidemic started from, and that's where we're going right into the heart. Nothing will stop them. What would you tell her about how she came to you and why she was given up? The people that give birth to you are not necessarily your mom and dad. They're the ones that love the ones that love you and care for you. Are. <laughs> Finally, it's time to go. With a 16-hour flight to look forward to, it's been a total roller coaster. The Kramers are finally on their way. With our video camera, they record their journey. We just boarded the plane. A lot of the flight attendants are all wearing masks. The Kramers decide not to. Neither do the other 23 adoptive families on the long overseas trip. Well, we just got off, so our 16-hour flight is over. The families begin with a tour of Guangzhou. It's an alligator. Oh, my goodness. The Kramers must wait and travel to Nanchang for Abby. On their next flight, passengers wear masks and their temperatures are taken for signs of SARS. Today's the big day. Um, we're an hour and a half away from getting our Abigail. Finally, the Kramers meet Abby. I kind of leaned over and gave her a kiss on the forehead, and she looked up and she. They know little about their little girl. She was found by the side of a road days after she was born. She spent most of her life in an orphanage. Now, Abby has a new life in California with the Kramers and their two kids. I think I love her more. Every day, every time I look at her. Thelma Gutierrez, CNN, Los Angeles. Well, it is our turn to meet the Kramers back in the U.S. after their journey to China to bring home the newest and cutest, perhaps, member of their family in Los Angeles, the proud parents and 11th-month-old Janai Abigail Kramer. Thank you all for being with us. Thank you. Uh, Thank you for having us. And she is just uh, unbelievably adorable. Uh, Thanks. Tell, tell us a little bit about this journey. I mean, that, that moment when you first yes. saw her, you traveled. You know, this has been going on for like two years. You're battling bureaucracy. You traveled thousands of miles facing a disease. What was that moment like? Incredible. I, you know, just to hold her in our arms, have her with us. I, I mean, you, you count the moments, and it was just anticipation all the way there. So it was relief. It was, you know, dream come true. She was, she's really a delight. I mean, though it was a little pandemonious at the, at, at the moment, it, she's, she's wonderful. We, we, we love her. And Mark, it was uh, when the first time you were holding her, it looked like she was crying a lot. She, she seemed startled to, to see someone who looked so different. Yeah, in Nanchang, they, this was probably her first experience ever seeing a, a fair-skinned, uh, bearded, uh, goatee, monster-looking guy. And she just freaked out the first time she saw me. And it took about a day and a half for her to warm up. Uh, I had to hide in the motel room. Uh, for sh she would find me in the room and start crying every time she saw me. So. You, you had to hide in the hotel room? 
Yeah, she'd find me across the room and break into tears. Just and and it was kind of that way with anyone that was blonde, that was or, or fair skinned and yeah. It was when, when you first heard about SARS, uh, I mean, did you suddenly think this may not happen? This could this could stop the whole thing. Sure, we got calls that morning saying, "Did you hear?" Uh, that you know they're they're halting all travel and we put a call in the agency but we were going and and we put a lot of trust in our agency and they were great and uh, uh, you know unless we were absolutely stopped we were right. we were after, heading we were going after two years of working towards it we were almost more afraid not to go than to go mm -hmm. at the very end you know Mark I, I hope this isn't too personal a question if it is you know just simply tell me to shut up but um, <laughs> when you know, in the story I saw, Abby was abandoned on the side of the road, uh, which is just, it's unthinkable. You can't even imagine a, a parent doing that. What, what do you think you're going to tell her when she grows up ab about how she came to live with you? Well, um, I get emotional every time I, someone asks that, but um, we're going to give her the best love and affection we can and give her a, a strong self-esteem and... Um, we're going to teach her that adoption means a, is a great thing with uh, good connotations and that um, if she wants to know about what happened, we'll, we'll say that she was a gift from God. and you know. a gift to us. Yeah. Well, she certainly is that. And, uh, and I know you have uh, two other children, Jordan and Jacob, and I know they've uh, welcomed Abby into their home. And uh, I'm glad uh, you have a new addition to your family. Thank you so much for being with us. Thank, Thank you, you for having us. All right, good night. That wraps up the first hour live from the